Hello guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Kiki and today I'm participating on the Look for Less Challenge hosted by Yami from the Latina Next Door and Ashley from Ashley Lauren. And today we're going to be making this. And as you can see, we're going to make it for so much less money. And for that we're going to need one of these pots from Walmart, 97 cents. One of these balls, um, it's styrofoam ball, the big one. I paid 189. I have some leftover foam. I'm reusing these dowels from Valentine's Day, the topiaries I made. White paint, I'm reusing that. And it's a reindeer moss topiary, but I couldn't find any reindeer moss at Walmart, so I'm using Spanish moss. So let's get started. Now we're going to take our pot and we're going to start painting it, but we're going to make it like kind of distressed, not giving it too much of a coat, if I can say that. Just lightly brushing our paint on top of our pot. As you can see, I added the foam to the top part so it won't touch the surface and it's easier for me to paint it. When we get to the top part, we're going to continue doing the same, covering each and every inch, not dropping it, <laughs> and continue painting it until we finish. We don't have to paint the interior of the pot. Let it dry. Then we're going to add our dowel to our foam and our ball to the top part by adding hot glue, lots of hot glue, and pushing it so it gets in on the dowel. Then we're going to arrange it to our liking, put some hot glue in the bottom part so it's sturdy, and continue arranging it until we have it in the place that we want it. Now we're going to add our Spanish moss because I couldn't find reindeer moss. So I'm adding Spanish moss and I would recommend for you to use some gloves if you're using this type of moss because my hands turned like oaks. Yes, they are green after this. <laughs> But we're going to continue adding our moss, little by little, and tearing some part and pieces. As you can see, I am adding hot glue, adding moss, adding hot glue and more moss, and burning my fingers and hands, because that's not the proper way to do it. But I would recommend for you to shred a little bit more of that moss in a box or something because this is going to get really messy. And by adding those whole pieces, you're not adding them in the right spots. Let me say like, like when you add your glue, you will have bald spots and you will have to continue and go over with that. If you shred it, you won't have that problem. adding your moss until you cover your bowl completely or the top of your topiary <laughs> so you can see it just looks like it needs a good haircut <laughs> but we're gonna get to that part later on You're gonna go to the bottom part as you saw there and you're gonna start adding glue all around so you can add the moss to 
to the bottom part. You cannot see it here, but I'm adding moss like that to the bottom part. Now I'm taking the lid or the lip off my pot and adding some hot glue to add more moss on top of it. Now we're going to get our scissors and give it a nice beautiful haircut so we can see the bald spot I, I was talking about to you a little bit earlier. We're going to get it really really nicely and as you can see a lot of moss it's being thrown to the table and that's why I said this is really messy. <laughs> but you're going to continue cutting and giving it a nice haircut until you find the shape you want and tap it so you can get rid of the excess that gets trapped in the moss. Continue cutting and giving it a nice haircut. I'm showing you the bald spot. I add more glue, more moss and more hair cutting. <laughs> Continue doing that process until you have your finished product. Did your topiary as you like it. It's adding, tapping, cutting, cutting it a little bit more, adding more hot glue, adding more moss, and this is a really fun project for 15 minutes your time. You're gonna love it. Believe me, you're gonna love it. It's really relaxing as you get into the Edward Caesar hands kind of a roll and you cut it and you shape it and you make something really beautiful. And this is how they turned out. As you can see, I managed to make two for the price of one. And I have the lighter wood and the distressed pot that I really wanted. In the description box down below, I'm going to leave you the link to the playlist and also to both of our host channels. I just want to take this opportunity to thank both of them because I really loved this collab. This month I had so much fun and I love what I created. And remember, if you like it, hit the thumbs up. If you love it, subscribe so you can keep on watching these type of videos. Take care. Bye-bye.